Well, joining us now from Washington is a journalist who has followed this phenomenon closely, Ford Fisher. He's editor-in-chief of NewsToShare.com. And Ford, one year after Charlottesville, give us an idea about the state of the so-called alt-right or white supremacist movement. For example, is it stronger or weaker than it was a year ago? In some ways, it's a lot stronger, and in some ways, it's a lot weaker. So uh, since Charlottesville, there has been a whole lot of controversy among the alt-right over uh, whether Unite the Right was really a success. Did it make them uh, look stronger by showing, you know, look how many people they can kind of get together on the streets? Uh, or did it make them look uh, weaker by showing that uh, by being out there and, and the result being violence, uh, loss of life? Um, uh, and and extremists as opposed to uh, as opposed to not really having much success uh, getting uh, normal sort of Trump supporters to to attend. Uh, remember that the original purpose of Unite the Right supposedly was to try to get together different factions of the right wing. So the hope was that they would get neo Nazis uh, as well as kind of less extreme sort of the alt light uh, and even Trump supporters to be sort of sympathetic with them. And I and I think that that has mostly not happened. Uh, to mostly right-wing activists, including right-wing activists who uh, go out on the streets, pretty much tend to disavow the alt-right unless they themselves are in it. So the, the actual goal of uniting the right doesn't seem to have, uh, or the extreme right doesn't really seem to have happened. Ford, according to all estimates, at least in the media, the this Unite the Right rally 2 uh, going on in Washington, D.C. is expected to host like 400 attendees, not very many. And there are many, many counter-protesters, including the Black Lives Matter uh, uh, movement, which will also be present to share a different view. Why then is this such a high profile event, the alt right event? And is there really a sense of concern considering how many groups are opposing these extreme views? Yeah, so uh, the permit is officially for 400 people, but I suspect that there could be uh, much fewer than that. Uh, like I said, most alt-right groups, many alt-right groups and then many non-alt-right groups have basically disavowed the event. So uh, I expect that really only the inner circle of the organizer and kind of his friends will uh, sort of be showing up. I, I wouldn't be shocked if it was more like 100 or 200 rather than 400. Uh, on the other hand, the, the left wing side, uh, or, or even not even necessarily left wing, but anybody opposing this, uh, I think will manage to get thousands. So the Answer Coalition, who I actually uh, spent some time uh, interviewing the other night, uh, they have uh, hundreds of people who are going to be attending. They have a, a permit as well for Lafayette Park. Uh, signs, all that kind of stuff prepared. And there are other organizations, of course, who are going to be counter demonstrating, but may not actually uh, believe in kind of using permits in order to do so, in order to physically confront them. Um, I think that DC police have shown themselves to be extraordinarily competent when it comes to keeping two sides separate. I've, I have filmed groups like this. I filmed people like Richard Spencer uh, uh, holding white nationalist rallies in DC, where uh, they've ended up being fairly unremarkable. Uh, precisely because the Secret Service and the Parks Police have done a good job of keeping them separate. So I, I expect to see something sort of similar to that uh, this weekend. I did ask uh, the chief of police, Newsham, yesterday uh, of D.C. Uh, how they plan to enforce their total ban on firearms. So it's worth noting that uh, even people who have the ability to concealed carry in Washington, D.C. will not be legally permitted to carry uh, at this event. And I asked, essentially, how do you plan to enforce that, given that you're not actually doing uh, weapons checks? You're not actually searching people on the way in. And basically, the police said, well, we're going to be observing people. We're very good at kind of watching these things and detecting signs of a potential, potential gunman. So it seems that the police are very, very prepared for this. But at the same time, uh, you know, anything can happen. So people should really be uh, staying alert, whether they're bystanders, whether they're law enforcement, uh, or whether they're activists on one side or another. Ford, I want to ask you, there's been a lot of controversy, of course, over President Trump's reaction last year to Charlottesville, a lot of debate over his role in encouraging or not the so-called alt-right movement. You've talked with these people. What do they tell you about how they feel about President Trump and if, if, if he plays any role in their ideology? Yeah, so the interesting thing about President Trump is that uh, the most common thing I hear about him is that he kind of moved the ball in their direction to some extent. They feel like they agree with him on certain issues of, of globalism versus nationalism. They kind of agree with him on ideas like immigration and the, and the wall. Um, but, uh, for example, just yesterday I was outside the White House uh, filming a progressive rally that was against President Trump and a 
uh, I don't want to say counter demonstrator, but basically just a wild card of an individual. There was a person who came with a sign uh, that said expel all Jews on the sign. So basically a neo-Nazi uh, showed up one single person at the White House. And I asked him, what's what's the deal with this sign? And, and dare I ask, why are you in front of the White House? Do you think that President Trump actually agrees with an agenda like that? And he said, no, of course not. I don't think that President Trump agrees. And uh, and that largely uh, is based on on President Trump's position on, on Israel, for example, where the yeah. alt-right would find itself deviating from him in a very extreme way. I and of course, yes. Trump uh, would never sure. uh, uh, claim to overtly uh, uh, support white nationalism for, or anything like that.